everybody welcome back to my today i'm gonna share about a new bag that i've just purchased um from chanel paris again thanks to my lovely ass a uh, morgan in the paris boutique who actually sent send me this bags that i really really like i actually purchased two more bags from him so before we start let's move on to the unboxing video as well as what's in my So I've actually placed my thing inside the bag. You can see that it's very puffy now. It's like a big fat little bag. It's really really cute. So let's talk a little about the bag. There's no back pocket. As you can see it's lambskin. Smooshy leather. I love it. It's so nice to touch. The sticker still is still on the hardware which I don't remove them. It's actually double C, the classic Chanel turn off um, closure. And on the top there is actually a Chanel leather piece. Um, that's about it and it's also very easy to you know double and single strap it because of the um, there's only two single hole and also the width here is, is small so it's easy to like double and single strap it so let's just see what did I what can I fit inside this tiny little bag so I mean I love this bag it's really so cute So as you can see, there's a little bit of difficulties opening it just now because I think I really keep feel it too full. So um, the top um, there is actually this, you know, turn lock, this part, and it's actually in the star screw. I'll I'll leave a photo so you guys can see. So on the inside, you can see that I fit quite a number of items. So let's just go through what I have. Number one, a packet of tissue paper. I actually slot it in um, vertically because since that there's room on top. So and it's also it's soft. So even if you close it, it's, it's fine. So a packet of tissue paper, the lip balm, uh, eye banking token, which I need it for. Um, eye banking transactions and then um because this is a small bag and there's already cut four card slots in in inside the bag so i just leave the card slot um inside as well as all the additional cards i just like place them in like this because since it's really just a very small bag and there's no more rooms for like card holders or things like that so i just throw it in like that and it's really a small bag so it's not difficult to actually find your cards or if you want to double up the card slot since it's actually in fabric you can hear the sound in the fabric. The side, the interior side are in leather, but um, the entire piece on the interior, apart from the sides, are all in fabric. This is a, a turn off part, I think, as compared to the other of the, the vertical flap clutch, um, clutch with chain, I think. This is also called a clutch with chain, but I think in YouTube people call it the trendy CC clutch with chain. So this is actually pretty popular. I think a lot of people actually have this bag and it's pretty hard to get I think so yeah let's just go through the bag inside so on the inside there's actually this part that states um, Chanel made in Italy I know it's really dark I can't see it but I'll put the photos um, that's about it this is very very simple bag so, so let's just share about what the bags comes comes with first of all Morgan very nicely gave me the shopping bag which I wanted it to come exactly like how I purchased if I'm in the boutique itself so and it comes in the cutest box ever it comes in such a little small little cute box and more cute uh, something that's even cuter is this small little bag look at this this is like I think the smallest dark bag I ever have for a bag but I think I know Chanel actually called them the SLGs in state and then so he gave me a gift card a very nice gift card I think you guys can saw it. It's Gabrielle Chanel, a gift card, a very, a very simple one. And then, um, like um, care care card, like care tips by Chanel, like a very simple one to teach you how to care for your for your, for your Chanel bag. And because the box is so small and it's so squarish, there's no place to put in this. So this is came separately. That uh, they actually give you a leather cloth thing that you can clean to your bag, as well as I think this is the care care instructions 
the booklet I think it's something like that so I think this is pretty cool I like that as well as the receipts so this particular bag that I've got and you guys have note in the unboxing review as well as what's in my bag is called the Chanel clutch with clutch clutch with chain and I think that people in YouTube call it the trendy CC clutch with chain or rather I would just call it the nano square I love it very much in fact I used to own the Chanel um, normal square back then when the quality was much better in caviar and I do love it but the only part that I didn't like about that is because it doesn't have four holes on top this one doesn't have four holes as well but at least on the inside they didn't hook like you see, it's, it's a flexible like chain instead of like they hook it here. Like you know, the, the normal mini square one, they actually, the chain actually was hooked on one side. So you can't do the adjustments of the single and double strap it. So I think this is very clever. But of course, it will be much better if it's like four holes, right? It's definitely easier to do the double and single strap thing. But this is not tough as well. Um, Something about the leather that I want to say that it is really quite fragile. This is in the lambskin leather and this is really the first bag that I have that is in lambskin. But um, like you guys know that I have always mentioned in my videos that I prefer smooth leather as compared to um, like rough pebbled leather and things like that. But for Chanel uh, lambskin, I would really say that it's really quite fragile. Maybe because of the puffiness of the leather. I like just now I, I only like try to do the what is, what's in my bag review i literally just got this i just opened this up from the parcel and i did i'm not rough with it or anything like that but there's already dents on the cover here maybe because of the things that i put in just now during the was in my bag but it's fine for me because since this is such a very small bag right the the damages is not like the dance and all those things is quite acceptable uh, but I do think that for people who are really very skeptical about dance about scratches and all those things maybe you guys can skip land skin from Chanel I do think that they get dents or scratches super easily I've used so many smooth leather before and this is really something that um, that is a new thing for me because um, I mean it's really nice I love the texture I love how you touches it and all those things it's really very pretty I love the puffiness but maybe because of the puffiness as well that the leather could have dents and all those things easily so this is the bag and uh, I do I do love this bag it's really cute in fact I actually got um, the previous video that you guys have seen this one right the, the vertical the vertical classic flap um, like they also call this a clutch with chain and this is a clutch with chain I thought that I would like this more because this seems more functional being like has it having bigger space and there's a back pocket and um, this one actually on the interior is full leather in burgundy but this one is fabric so I thought that I would like this more but when I receive it I actually like this more because I, I, know, I know that some people prefer this so that they can put in their cell phone but I'm somebody who always hold my cell phone on my hand so I honestly prefer this one. This is a really, really cute bag, honestly. This is like super cute. And I think the width is slightly, just very slightly wider than this one. Or, or rather the other same, I don't know. But uh, on the side, I think this is wider. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> it looks the same. But um, I, 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 I love them both. I love them both. But this nano square, I do think that it looks prettier. On, on, on me because this one looks a little bit like out of out of shape and all those things but it's unique because it's vertical right so let's just see how they both looks on me so you can see that um, this one because it's vertical um, when I just like double strap it uh, as a shoulder bag it looks a little bit weird because it's vertical right so it's very stream and very like you know it makes me looks weird but because this is already a very tiny bag so when you like do this like that it's 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 more reasonable that way it seems like it's reasonable something like that i, I don't know what how do you call that but it's it's so much cuter in real life i actually bought it without even seeing it but i see tons of reviews on this small little cutie bag and maybe we can just talk about the length of this two bag I think this is this has a shorter strap than this one. Let's just see. So this one has a longer strap. You see, it's ridiculously long on Asian, standing at 161 centimeter. So you guys go figure it out. And this one has a shorter strap, but because this has a vertical back shape, right? So it looks 
it looks weird as well but both of them looks great for crossbody looks perfect but um if you do single strap it is it's it's really long it's like below my my buttock i think yeah but if you just crossbody them you can see, see this is when i crossbody this on its own own it's nice when i crossbody this on its own it's nice too right this has a longer strap but it looks shorter because it has a shorter body shape this has a shorter strap but it looks longer because it has a vertical shape yeah so uh, i uh, just want to share one thing about this lovely cutie bag here that we have here this is actually um i didn't know that you have in singapore this actually retails at Singapore $2,770 Singapore dollars. And I didn't know that for this particular bag, so you see things are so tough to buy here in Singapore Chanel. So this they didn't bring in here in Singapore. This lovely vertical one they didn't bring in in Singapore, this particular model. And then this one in Singapore is actually on allocation basis. I was like, what is allocation basis? So allocation basis basically curly man said you can tell your SA that you have an interest in this bag but whether or not the boutique manager or the boutique actually allocate this bag to you um well it's unpredictable you can't so it's not like a confirm that oh you go in you want to buy you can have it so Singapore Chanel just make it hard for you to get this thing so I'm really really glad that um I got it from Paris to Chanel instead and I just want to say a big thanks to Morgan again as always for his really kind help and all the things that I want, the packagings that I wanted. So I think that's all for this cute little bag. I do love it and I hope that this review is actually helpful whoever is considering this bag. Thank you very much for watching Channel B. Please remember to like and subscribe to our videos. Bye!